When I'm going through a woods, depending on the time of year, in morel season and in trumpet season, I'm looking for little verticals, little verticals, because the leaves are laying down there. And the morels, sometimes the first thing I find is a C is something standing. I, I don't right away recognize it. The, the trumpet's the same thing. They're a little hard to spot. The first time I ever saw trumpets, I was standing on a rock and all the club was yelling, don't move, don't move. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, why? Trumpets, trumpets. Well, I had never seen a trumpet. I still couldn't see a trumpet. They were like holes in the ground. But if you, if you look, look over the landscape and you see these black things, then it's worth taking a closer look. The other thing is I can tell a, uh, I can pretty well tell a russula from the top. I don't usually bend down for too many russulas when I'm on my own. <laughs> uh, uh, the milkies, I can always tell by, sorry, I uh, by the color. This, this color is so distinctively milky. And of course, the carugus with its wrinkled top. Immediately recognize it. And of course, I take all of these home because I love them all. My grandmother used to brine them, and all my Polish relatives would play pinochle and eat brined uh, milkies. And um, these I'll just walk by. Of the of the um, of the bow leads, there's my favorites are this. This red is really easy to recognize. I find that the sensibilis is a much pinker, less red, more pink. And of course, the stem. Um, those are really easy to recognize. I'll um. other ones do I love? Chanterelles. Yeah, well, chanterelles, they yell at you, you know, they say, whoa, look at us, we're all yellow and we're standing up all over the place and come and get us. I'm always happy when they come out during the cooler season because they're less buggy. And there's some such as the chestnut bully. I don't bother picking. After you pick 200 and every one of them has been buggy, I just don't. I know they're supposed to be good edible, but it's too heartbreaking to always be picking them and finding them covered with bugs. So every now and then I have to tell myself, look up, and I do. And sometimes you find wonderful things like chicken of the woods, oysters, herissia, but uh, it's something I have to talk to myself. But look up, look up, okay, look up. Oh, when I go for a pee, I sometimes find a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> those pea mushrooms are great. <laughs> You're right down there close to the ground. Well, some of us are. And, um, and, and some of us are handicapped. Suddenly you start spotting things. Um, so Honey, are your rustles edible? Yeah. And there are some uh, rustles that are edible. The green ones are edible. And just like the chestnut bowl eats, they're mostly buggy. But they're supposed to be edible. My grandmother ate them, but I know too much about Russell, so I don't. <laughs> tell them what you do with them. These, I did tell them. I brine wow. them, but also I just, I just cook them in every which way, and they stay crispy and crunchy, and they're wonderful in almost anything. I love them. Some people don't like Volemus, the one with the close together gills, because they think it smells fishy. It doesn't bother me at all. I love it. I love it. And all. Three of these things are good edibles. Now, I don't, um, I, I guess that's about it. Though.